Nicolas Cage and all this. But actually, you are you starred in probably one of the top ever uh, adaptations on an, of an H.P. Lovecraft, at least, let's call it a, at least influence story that is uh, by H.P. Lovecraft that is In the Mouth of Man is one of the most remarkable movies uh, of the few decades. So, um, in quite a few decades. And um, yeah, it, it was great for many things, of course, John Carpenter directed, but one of the first things I wanted to ask you about is, is the casting was incredible. First, the chemistry between, between uh, you and Julie Carmen artistically was fantastic, but also all the secondary roles are incredible. I mean, it's Jordan Prochno, even Charlton Heston is in the movie, so it's, it's, it's really, really cool. So if you could, what, what are, now you're a little bit, with all the, after all this year, what are your memories? Because John Carpenter has been recently, in the last uh, Cannes Film Festival, he was honored with a uh, honor, he was awarded with an honorary award. If you can just uh, share with us uh, some of your memories of In the Mouth of Madness. Carpenter, Carpenter got an honorary award. Yeah, in, in, yeah. Uh, he was, he was uh, yeah, in, uh, in Cannes, yeah. this uh, uh, last May. I was uh, talking yesterday at the press conference about how, in my experience, um, the people that make the darkest films are usually the gentlest, sweetest humans on earth. <laughs> and John Carpenter is one of those, he's eccentric, gentle, mild, quietly spoken, and only eats breakfast three times a day. He, he just likes pancakes and bacon and that's it. Uh, and it was a, it was a great, um, it was a great experience uh, working with him, and that was the second time I'd worked. I'd, I did a film with Chevy Chase, John Carpenter directed it, Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Uh, so I'm very fond of him. Uh, and I'm sorry that he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be interested in directing films anymore. He seems to be more interested in doing his music. He always he was did the music for his own films, and, uh, and he, now he tours with a band, and they do theme of In the Mouth of Madness, yeah. um, but I'd soon to see his films, I like his films. Uh, it was interesting working with Charlton Heston, uh, because I grew up with Charlton Heston movies and, uh, you know, of course, he's a hero as a child, Ben-Hur and all that. And um, I just worked with an actor um, uh, who'd, who'd, who'd done a film with, with Charlton Heston previously, and I said, what's Charlton Heston like? He said, well, you know, he's great, but he always tells the same stories. <laughs> and and uh, he said, you know, he told me the story three times. <laughs> and the story is this, he said, you know, it's great waking, making westerns. Because I love getting up in the morning and having a cup of, cup of coffee with the, with the Wranglers. There's the smell of the horses and the smell of the coffee. And it's a great start of the day. So I couldn't resist it. I said, um, I said, uh, Mr. Heston, Charles, uh, those westerns you made, what fun they must have been. You know, Sam, there was nothing greater than the morning and... <laughs> Have a cup of coffee with the Wranglers, the smell of the horses. I thought that's just great. <laughs> Captured. Well, he's a nice man, apart from his views on guns, and we, we never discussed guns. Yeah. 